Welcome to Awakening You channel. If you appreciate what we do, please support us. Thank you. Dear ones. I am Archangel Michael. Today I'm going to start a new topic. I want to show you how a lot of things started. I want to show you how African religions began. Before starting the video, I would like each of you here, who follow or have followed, it doesn't matter, these religions, either the primary one or all the ones that followed, don't view what I'm going to say here in a prejudiced way or in a way that diminishes them. I already told you here some time ago, that this was not the time to talk about religions. But the time is coming. The time is coming for a lot of things to be revealed. No, I'm not going to explain what happened here in detail. The idea here is just for you to understand why a lot of things happen. So today we will start with some discussions about religions and I will start with the African ones. Most of you have been taught, or realize, that the great mass of black humans are in Africa. And so to this day, even those whose limiting beliefs still believe in Adam and Eve, as precursors of the human race. Even today, they do not have the answer to how black people were created. So this served as a basis for judging them to be minorities and unimportant. Just because they were different from those who had power on the planet. Very good. I already told you here that many galactic people arrived here, exactly with the mission of starting great development on this planet. The souls that were born here went through their phase of evolution, reaching the species that you are today. But precisely because they came from smaller dimensions, first and second, they did not yet have the knowledge to develop the planet. It's as if only the human race, the earthling race, had remained here alone, perhaps you were still hitting each other on the head with pieces of wood, as it was in the Stone Age. Evolution would practically not have happened. Because if you were souls from here, who never had any knowledge beyond, how would you evolve? So it is necessary for intelligent souls to come to the planet to help with evolution. This is how a people evolves, this is how a race evolves. She has help from more developed races. And so your planet was populated by many races. Some you know. No, no, I won't go into details here. I can only say that that region, which is today Africa, was not like that at that time. It is not a simple assumption or a coincidence that they think that the continent of South America was once attached to Africa. This is true. But those people hadn't spread that far yet. Imagine the size of the continents. So it was still a small people, a race that arrived here to help with development. And it was a very evolved race, which knew how to manipulate the elements, knew how to work with spirits. Very good. These people had their culture, their rituals. In the same way that I already explained to you, that the people of Lemuria and Atlantis let themselves be carried away by the tests, causing this planet to descend in dimension in the end, these people were also affected in the same way. Very good. And one of the forms of control would exactly be religions. The worship of the gods, the cult of entities, the cult of beings that you did not see, invisible beings. And precisely because they were invisible, they could take whatever form those who created the religion wanted. Very good. Because, no one saw anything, so they simply believed in those who claimed to be the masters of that religion. At this level of the world, it wasn't just there that a religion was created, across the planet religions exploded, because it was this form of control. It's that punitive God, who if you didn't do what he wanted, he punished and punished. So this maxim was spread across the planet, but in different ways. It couldn't be, how can I have the same religion as people who are different from me? That's what the inhabitants here thought at that time, because the vast majority were white, how were they going to mix with those black people? Very good. Then things started to move away. And since then prejudice also existed, it was already quite encouraged. And it got to the point it is today, but that's not the point. 
Then African religions emerged, the cult of the Orazas. So what are these so-called Orazas? Anyone who knows, knows that each Oryxa has a particularity. I'll make an analogy, please don't confuse. In the same way that you, with your little boxes, place the masters exactly on the spokes, I would say that each Oryxa takes care of a certain element. And what were these Orazas? They were extremely evolved souls from those people. They were not evil beings, they were beings of great light. Very good. And really, each one of them took a care strategy for themselves. So there are Orazas of the land, the sea, the forest. I'm not going to go into those details here, that's not the idea. Very good. Then there were the Orazas and the cult of these Orazas. And really, those people were very wise, very powerful. And those Orazas helped them manipulate all the elements, the land, the abundance in the sea, the protection of the forest, the balance, strength for the warriors in war. So everything was perfectly in place. The incorporation of these Orazas did not happen. Because they were extremely evolved beings, they had the ability to see those beings, who were pure energy. Not incorporable beings. Very good. Don't start taking in or putting together crazy stories in your minds. Wait for me to finish the story. Very good. So let's say that this was the golden age, for these people here on the planet. And they knew how to respect others. And they began to create the African civilization there, the African human race descended from those beings. Very good. Excellent. Then we have Black Africa and the Orazas. But there would be intervention from those who were already here to dominate the planet. The planet had already descended. Then the time has come to begin the domination, the manipulation. And then these beings began to observe those cults, and they thought there was a good opportunity to create something that would take more and more of your energy. Because that was always the idea, to make them weak, to make them fragile. And if you paid attention to what I said, worship prejudice there, worship separation, worship difference. So they saw in those people a great opportunity for power, for control. Very good. The great leaders, the great sages of those people, were no longer on the planet. They were already far away, because they arrived here, implemented their culture, generated descendants, and left. At the time of Gaia's descent to Tercera, those who were already here stayed, you can't go out anymore. So these were also involved, just like the people of Atlantis, Lemuria, and everyone else. I have already told this story. The power, the manipulation. But something had to be done, to maintain that religion and change a little, make small changes, so that this transition of souls could happen, of the Bodhis own soul leaving for another to enter. Because this takes away the strength of your physical body, your etheric body, your mental body, your astral body, increasingly minimizing your strength in contact with the heights. It's worth remembering, light has never been absent from the planet. We have always been here. So everything that was done to control you, somehow we always kept the scales in balance. So, in the same way, many souls in Lemuria, in Atlantis, did not allow themselves to be involved, and many lost their lives because of it, there, too, many souls did not accept that dominion. Just remember that there were powerful souls there, souls of those beings who had arrived here with all that power. And in the same way as those souls who did not agree, in Lemuria and Atlantis, and lost their lives, their physical bodies, those souls were unable to leave. They have already fallen into the wheel of samsara, forgetting everything they were. Likewise those brave warriors, who arrived here with a lot of power, too. Only their souls were captured by the wheel of samsara, they couldn't leave. And that whole culture was being expanded, so that it continued in the same way it was, but in a different way. The cult of the Orazas would continue, but in a different way, with the incorporation. 
Remember, pay attention to what I said, some very powerful warriors from those people remained on the planet. And these souls became the Orizas, the ones themselves, which today embody in many of you. Don't start by saying it was all a hoax. Look at the trial. Look at the trial. The Orizas, the great energetic beings of very high dimensions, continue to exist. I'll get to it later. Now these who embody and who do all the work that is done, are not those energetic beings, they are souls. But very powerful souls. Very good. And so it was. They incorporated, and the religion was being built. The rituals were being modified, lines were being created. Like everything in your world, there is always a group that uses it, the power in its hands for evil and a group that uses it for good. So these religions, over time, began to undergo modifications, to be subdivided, but always with the work of incorporation. Always with the exchange of souls that enter and leave the body at all times. Taking away the power of each one of you, who followed these religions. So it's like I say here, the light never went away. So even though you were instructed to do this kind of thing, the African religion did a lot for the people, because souls of great light were incorporated into these people, and they did good. Then you will ask, but wait, if incorporating wasn't correct, why did these souls incorporate? Good question. It is not appropriate here to judge again why everything still happened. This has also been discussed here. The planet has entered this phase of atonement. Very good. So you would have to go through that for a long time. So how could we, from the light, improve that a little? Yes, it wasn't good for you to incorporate, but whoever followed the path of light incorporated souls of light, a lot of light. And these same souls knew how to protect the bodies of those where they were. Then, when they left, they restored the entire body, the physical, the mental, the etheric, the astral of that body. So it was a way that the light found to act, in what had been created, in a way to help them and not harm those who were acting like this so whenever a medium, as you call it, incorporated a soul of light, he was treated. And that soul of light passed on love, passed on guidance, passed on union, kindness, eliminated bad energies, she had this power. So that's how we operated. Now those Orizas, supposed Orizas, continued to exist and still exist today. Just that you understand that it is not the highest dimensional beings that exist in the universe. They are not. Those who incorporate are those spirits, those powerful souls, who arrived here. And they are here to this day. In a certain way, I wouldn't say imprisoned, but I would say that they lost a little power over time. Why? Because how these religions were changing through our influence, the cult of animal killing was being eliminated. Because the killing of animals is a limiting belief, which only acts for non-light energy, not for light. So when you are told to kill an animal, to destroy something, you do not destroy anything, you are only giving more strength to that being of non-light. This was a big mistake. No, don't be angry with yourself for believing in so much. You have already believed a lot of things that are not true. No judgments against yourself. The world moved on. Today, you understand that this incorporation is no longer necessary, that you can very well have a soul of light at your side, telepathically telling you what to say, what to say, how to act, without the need to incorporate. And many of these souls of light are already ascended, no longer incorporate. Another thing that is interesting to mention here is that the souls of light have names. And this same soul of light is repeated in thousands of places at the same time. How can this be? If she is a soul that still embodies, she is not a higher dimensional soul. So it doesn't have many properties, of being in several places at the same time. So how can you? I'll give an example here that everyone knows, Father Joachim. Father Joachim, 
it exists in thousands of terreiros, of candomal houses, that you find across the planet. If he is a single soul, how can that be? So there is an explanation, it is as if it were a commander and his soldiers. It's what you call a phalanx. So the soul of light that originated this entity, called Father Joachim, has its phalanx, which are thousands of souls, which resonate with its same energy. They are souls with exactly the same frequency as his. Then act according to the light. And act according to the light, you don't need a primer, you don't need a book, you don't need a course, everyone knows what to do using the same name. So that explains this same entity being all over the world. And so are the others. It's not a single one. Many souls, the old black people themselves, many told you that they had been slaves. Yes, it's no lie, they were extremely suffering souls who deserved the mission of helping others, becoming part of the phalanx of that being of light. So my brothers, do not feel deceived because you will still feel this way many times. Because everything you know, nothing is real, everything is a lie. Seen the letters of Christ. Does what was taught in your religious book match what is in the letters of Christ? No, because that book was not written by him, it was written by the disciples and later greatly modified by those who came later. So there are lies everywhere. So back to talking about the Orazas. Orazas, beings of energy, that exist in the universe and that are part of this race. Yes they exist. And exactly because their race is here on the planet, many here are their descendants, and their race is incarnated, they remained on the planet. Not on the surface of course. It's as if they understood what happened, how their entire story was distorted on the surface. So they stayed here. For what purpose? to protect each one of those who were involved in that religion. So I can say that it is as if they adopted every soul that is born on the planet. According to the characteristic of that soul, each fractal of her that is born here on this planet, each time that little peace incarnates on the planet, these beings take care of that soul. Why, if she comes one day, to get involved in that erroneous, deceitful path, they act exactly as they have to act like the real Orishas. So you all have this connection with them. Even those who today point the finger, condemn, are prejudiced, attack those who follow, break images, do not accept. It doesn't matter, everyone has it. Everyone is protected by them. Each according to the nature of the soul. So when someone says this to you, even those of you who have already followed, or follow, these religions, a you have the orixa a and b in your head, as they say, yes, it's not a lie, it's true. But not those orizas that you incorporate, you have the real orizas that are there in the astral. This is true. So start observing how much protection you have. Then many will say, what's all this for, why this much protection we have, if we suffer in this world? Who is reaping suffering? Ah, who planted it? So stop blaming those who are only by your side out of pure love, for not having helped you at all. The choices were yours. It's your walk, not theirs. They were there the whole time. You never knew, because that's how it had to be. Now this is over, you know the truth, you know you can connect with any of them whenever you want. So do it. Stop suffering. Take action. From now on, no suffering. Connect with all these spiritual beings around you. Not spiritual in spirit, so I will change even the word, unite with all these energetic beings around you and change your life. Change your vibrations. It's my brothers, the manipulation was big, very big. And unfortunately a good part of those who still worship, one side of these religions, are representatives of exactly those who manipulate you. It's what you call black magic here. They decided to accept that, so they could also perpetuate their side. And a lot is absorbed, so, many agree, 
many accept, because they give back power, return fame, they return a lot of interesting things, but the soul is imprisoned forever. That soul, to free itself, will need to have a flash of light, of lucidity, to get out of there. Otherwise, it will be very difficult to break out of their yoke. They are those who worship evil. They are the ones who worship the rituals, the black magic rituals that you hear about. And they are not lies, are true. So my brothers, here is the explanation of the Orizas. The explanation of many things that you didn't understand and now you will understand. And I tell you that in many places, the great leaders of these spiritist houses are evolving. They are understanding this great change that is happening. And they are allowing themselves and everyone there to rise. Now there is a large majority who don't, who are very angry about all of this. Firstly because it is losing followers, it is losing people who no longer believe in it. And then you are losing power, you are losing financially, but mainly power, the power to manipulate the masses. I will not label them and say that they are souls of non-light. No, 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 they are not yet evolved souls, who continue to think as third and will remain so, unfortunately. And many of those souls of light that incorporated, are ascending today. They are no longer incorporating, the souls of those phalanges have already been ascended. So notice how everything is changing, how everything is evolving. And whoever doesn't want to evolve, I'm sorry. You will continue your religion, your way of thinking elsewhere. Because this will all be replicated, elsewhere, because it worked. The manipulation worked, then it will be replicated elsewhere. Then you may think, but what about the souls of those warriors who are the supposed Orizas, who they embody, are they also unique? But do they incorporate it in several places? The explanation is the same. The explanation is the same. Do you realize that these so-called Orizas that you incorporate barely speak? I wonder why? Because they are there applying a scam. Yes there are powerful souls, but not the soul of who they represent. There is a big scam there. So understand why they don't talk. Once again, I understand that many who are here listening to all this have their heads racing. Because they believe, they worship, they continue to attend. So I just tell you to listen to your hearts. I already said here, I don't want puppets. So I want each of you to stop and think. Just that. If you come to the conclusion that everything I said is absurd, continue in your belief. Nothing changes. Nothing changes. I'm not going to be mad because you didn't believe what I said. I don't want a puppet. I want a thinking being. So if everything I said didn't resonate in your heart, perfect. You continue to be to me what you always were. And he continues to attend his religion, accepting what is there. Everything remains the same. That's what I told you yesterday, either you believe it or you don't believe it. To believe more or less, it doesn't exist. So if you believe what I said, great, if you don't believe it, that's great too. One day the truth will appear, not by my words, you'll see. So nothing to do, just wait. Just that. So my brothers, to end today's video, anyone who wants to know about the Orizas, do some research. What is the characteristic of each one, because this is found in many places on the internet. But be careful where you are searching. Very careful. Because in many places, dark energy is there. Because they ended up confusing Kandama with the evil religion. Many interpret it that way and it is not. But unfortunately, the vast majority went the other way. Because he liked the power he had. And to finish, I'm just going to say one more thing. That you have the habit, who follows these religions, of shaving your head, cutting your head and something is done to your head. I only advise you the following. Ask your spiritual masters. Ah, 
but I don't know who it is. It doesn't matter. Ask your spiritual master to undo everything that was done in your head. That's all I have to say. He has this power. But you have to ask. Of course, this has to be a heartfelt request, my spiritual master, may you take back everything that was done when my head was shaved. And then you continue explaining the process you did, and he will clean it all up. Do it. This is important to do. Tomorrow I will continue a little more on this subject. I am Archangel Michael. And I'm here, just to tell you the truth. I don't require you to believe. But if you think about it, it's great for me.